All right. Let's go meet some people, why? I can see already there's actually quite a few people up here already. Somebody there. There's a garage door open there. This is a new owner. I know they've been working on it. They've had some, some uh, contract people in there. This might be the actual owner. Oh, you're in a hurry. Busy, busy, busy. All the walking we did earlier and you still got all this energy. Amazing. We just did about six or seven miles trail camera. Oh, somebody. There's a dog smell there, huh? Something. Okay, these people are here and those people are here. I talked to this guy. He's been here for 17 years. Owned it for 17 years and he said that he saw our walks a long time ago thought they were really cool on the Northwoods and uh, anyway kind of got us inspired to do them again and meet some people you want to walk up there and say hi to them let's hey why oh you are excited about something let's walk up and say hi to them come here come here come here come here let me get you all fixed up come on you remember what his name was why Come on. Let's go see. He's working in there. He's got a fire going. Let's see if he wants to talk to us. This is cabin 46. Oh, he's coming. Here he comes. Good. How are you doing? You, uh, it is. I met you, and this is Wyatt. Yeah. Um, I got one that just you got one inside. Oh yeah, look at him. He's like excited. Well, he's gonna he stay inside there, Wyatt. So we were just, uh, you know, you inspired us. I talked to you. What was it? Well, you're the owner here, right? What's your name again? Brad. 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 Did you talk to us about four or five weeks ago? No. It wasn't you? No. What was it about? Um, doing the uh, videos and walking around yeah. the... That wasn't you? No. Oh, I thought it was you. Uh, well, he described this ca this cabin. Are you a co-owner with someone? No. I bet it's Todd next door. Oh, right Todd, next door? Todd's real active and everything. He keeps up on everything. Oh, yeah. So, I, that sounds like a Todd. He's so, a great guy. Well, he, the, the person I taught... Oh, there's a dog over there, too. Yeah. Uh, Wyatt knows. The person I talked to said uh, they'd been here for 17 years and they described the cabin and I thought it was this one. And uh, he said that uh, he used to watch the videos of me and my other dogs and bloodhounds walking around. He says, why, why did you stop that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> and he says, it was really neat. And uh, there was a couple of them on there. I was talking to people and meeting people and stuff like that. And I talked to the some of the board of directors and stuff like that. And I said, you know, it seemed like way back when we really had more of a sense of community. We knew we knew a lot more people, you know, around here. And there's so many owners. Um, I said, you want me to start putting wildlife and do do walks and like little interviews or something like that? And uh, they thought it'd be a good idea. So, have you been on the Northwood site? I have, just I, not lately, right? I'm not active. I, I yeah, kind of like ignore stuff and every once in a while I go look when there's something about you know whether yeah so there's a whole bunch of stuff on there I've been putting pictures of bears and cougars and and meet your neighbors and I'm videoing you right now <laughs> is that okay <laughs> and so um, this is cabin 46 and your name is Brad, Brad again and you've been okay is she here no <laughs> so she likes out she doesn't we, get to go my on my son came on. up yesterday and yeah 
Oh. I'm you mean the Peck blue pipe? It, it's it's uh, Peck. Oh, it's copper, right? You know, hodgepodge. The guy, you know, I tacked onto the guy in front of me. And exactly. And I'm just sick of it. I've replaced our shower. Well, I didn't replace. It. I had to tear the shower apart because it's where the stoppers on the shower. So anyway, I'm I'm knee deep, and I finally got the shower off. I did that about. Well, I, every year I was replacing copper. Every year, you know, and we've been here for almost 30 years. I did, and it's awesome. We haven't had a problem since. And it's easy to do. It, don't be intimidated by it. It's so easy. You know what, though? I did the whole cabin, though. I'm bringing a guy out. Oh, you're going to have somebody do it? it? It's all exposed. It's real simple. Yeah. I mean, I could do it, but I screw things up, you know? And it's like this. I just had this. I'm looking. Everything's right in my little hump. And I was like, I didn't see that, you know? And I think that's where it is. That's where it blew. Yeah. So I'm bringing a guy in. He's just going to say, hey, out, that is perfect. Put it all in, yeah. you know, and because I'm telling you, when you get a really shower, it's bad. Oh, it is bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. The showers piece together. And, anyway, we've all we've all experienced and, it. You know, my son came up and I was telling him, now, turn the water on and it's been sitting there a while, and I said, turn it on slow, watch the leaks. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, He's, he calls me up and goes, well, uh, there's water flowing everywhere. You know? Gosh. <laughs> like, I like your bench. That's neat. Oh, congratulations. Are you spending a lot of time up here now because you're retired? You know, we worked on this heavily when we first bought it. I remember. We pretty much transformed it. And, oh, and it's then, beautiful. Honestly, this this last year, we haven't been up much. And and so... you got to change that. Things happen. <laughs> Every time we come up, we're like, why haven't we been up here? You know? and, <laughs> <laughs> and whether it's raining or not, it's a little drag in the rain, but it's like still, it's It's, it's gorgeous great. up there. It's yeah. wonderful up there. I know. I know. We, just, we haven't gotten up there now. We'll, we'll start. We, we love this place. We love more things. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm John. Yep. And this is Wyatt. And you'll hear him yep. brewing. Yep. And I've got another brewer in there. Oh. Uh, but oh, at our, another, not another no, no, bloodhound. No. So you'll. You'll hear her sound off every once in a while, so you'll know where that's coming from. And, and again, uh, I'm a brewer. I, I worked for Great Western Malt, and so I was. Oh, brewer. <laughs> I was a brewer. Well, okay, everyone in Northwoods, we know where to get our beer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm retired now. I, I don't know what it's like to pay for beer, and so now I'm retired. I don't. I don't, I don't oh wow. I don't want to pay money for beer. You know? So when you come in, yeah. do you which road do you go? Do you go I on this one, or you go on that? The, uh, I come through. Do you ever go out over here? Rarely. There's a cabin about halfway down. I know you. Oh, you know, you've heard us? <laughs> the who gives a hoot? Yeah, we we we've been really good for a few years, but I I want to change that. <laughs> Who's your next door neighbor? Is he related? No, <laughs> that's Colin. Absolutely not. A whole different um, set of jeans and stuff. No way. <laughs> He's You're not related. Friends, We're friends. Yeah. Don't ever loan Colin Farrell tools. <laughs> We're really good friends. He will break tools. And then he'll send his kids, he'll return, he'll, <laughs> boy, boy, he'll send his kids to return them. Look, we got more people coming by. All right, <laughs> Brad in 46. Yep. We know you now. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't know who's going to be I don't think they <laughs> Stop it. Like nice to meet you. Through. And I'm just going to hold them until they reply for a while. <laughs> yeah, okay. You want to see all the dogs in the neighborhood, don't you? Hi! <laughs> We're going to let you go plenty by. <laughs> oh, yes. She's going to talk to you. Oh, stop that. My goodness. I'm going to have to edit this out. They're all going to think you're a big old vicious thing. He's a talker. He's I, such a big talker. I have a cousin that got a bloodhound uh, out on the farm. And they, they couldn't keep it on the farm, so it turned out to be a problem. Because it just they are go. heavy duty. But, uh, <laughs> they, 
they are a lot of maintenance. Oh yeah. We've already done about seven miles today and he's still got energy. Yeah, we have. Yeah, he's a big boy. We have. Yeah, he's as tall a bloodhound as you'll ever see. He's 33 inches at this point. He's, uh, we're pretty proud of him. So I keep him in um, really good shape. I mean, if I if I let him eat and and we didn't exercise, he'd be, he'd be, uh, well, right now he's 138. So he'd be uh, a pretty heavy one. The search dog too. Really? Why it's got quite the skills. He's a, he's a level two NSDA trailing dog, um, which is a national certification and a title, and uh, pretty proud of that. That's, that's great. So if, you, if somebody gets lost, we might be able to help. <laughs> well, hey, thanks. For thanks again, dog. Brad. Good to know you. What's that? I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye bye. Good luck with your water. <laughs> I, I'm ready to just get this project finished. This cabin's done except for that. I told somebody. I don't think it's ever done. <laughs> I know. See you later.